the irons. Irons? Why? Because oh. one's a prying tool and it has, also has the spike on it. Where's our irons? In the truck. Rear compartment on the driver's side. Go pull that tray out. So this one's a little bit different because, like I said, I've never done one like this. It's plastic here. Mm -hmm. But if you get that out of here with the iron, yeah. are you going to get the plastic off with the iron? If I'm a victim in this car, you need to be talking to them, right? Because they're going to hear a lot of motion. You see that? See the vehicle moving? That's why we use step chocks. Come in with the spreader. You want to give me some juice, steel? Come in with that spreader. You're gonna get up underneath here and try to pop this hood up. Right closest to the to the last mechanism that you got. Up on low. insurance on our stuff so it'll get covered. Absolutely. Right in the corner. Right in the corner, why? Because it'll go into the small pieces point. instead of big pieces. Either way it's gonna go into small pieces. That's how it's designed. Up here you got a lot of flex in the window, right? It's going to move if you do it. Down here, it's solid. That's where you see when cops hit a window with a baton, they're hitting it up here. It doesn't do a whole lot. A lot of times, they'll sit there and bounce off it. you got to get down in the corners. Great and glass. Pull it out and try it again. Okay, wow. now, Dave, when we do this, if we go a little bit to the time, if it starts to, if it starts to bend and tear the metal, yeah. you get another spot. Yeah. Work the tool in, a little bit at a time. You never tear the metal. You tear the metal, you just shot yourself in the foot. You spread it, work your way in more and more and more. There's dust in the air. What kind of dust? The tool, that thing's gonna move. You gotta support it by hand. the tools moving towards this direction, this is right. the worst place to Got be because you'll pinch yourself. <coughs> you're making these cuts if that cutter is 90 degrees to what you're cutting, it goes a lot better. You're cutting a lot more material when you're at an angle like that. Cut 90 degrees as most as you can. Do you have a little piece? Yeah. Oh no. Is it loose? Looks like right. a piece. You're loose? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's close. Open the jaws.
hook? Another technical term. Look it up in the glossary. <laughs> BAH. Firefighter uh, technical yep. Take it. All right, so now we have a problem. What are we going to do? Trying to back oh, up the... Uh, We've got to back that out a little bit. And extend it. I ran out of holes, right? Go ahead, brush it up. Okay, good. You see the car moving? All right, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get this up out of the way, coil it up, get it out of the way so it's not getting getting damaged. Uh, you got the, that's a short bar. Grab the long ones, Kevin. Might need both of them because I think that's too short for I'm going to grab the strap. Here, let's do it right here. Pull the pin. Push the button on the end. Got her? Okay, now. Piece of webbing on him. Awesome. <coughs> you doing okay, kid? All right, don't slide off because you'll look funny hitting the ground. We'll all laugh. Then we'll make sure you're all right. We have our two first responders here. I'm supposed to grab it sometime. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we should probably take this glass out, right? Who's got a punch with him? Nah, I mean, no. Somebody find the glass master off the engine. Oh. Paul's got one? Glass master? Anybody? Kevin's getting it. Kevin's got it. We got Kevin here. I think it's the machine, the radio's probably not left. They got radios going on. I really freaked out for a second. I was like, is there someone stuck back there? If there was, I'd be going back there. So what you're going to do, Kate? We're going to take... Come on, drag him, drag him. Come on, Mr. Evergreen. Jesus, yeah, I look, can't. Look, 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 you're already low to the ground, so your best balance would be to grab both of his legs. And pull his legs. And go. Not across that wet ass floor, <laughs> Does that make sense? Rain dog.